Hello class. In this video, we're talking about graphing rational functions and specifically this function right here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking for the domain or basically the x values that we can legally use in this function. Now there are certain numbers that we can't use because if we plug these numbers in the denominator, okay, it would make the denominator zero, which makes it uh, undefined. Okay, if you can't divide by zero. So let's go ahead and find the x values that we can use for this function right here. So to do that, very simply, uh, to find the values that we can't use, I would simply set the denominator equals to zero. X squared. Like that. Okay. And of course to solve for this, I would simply just factor this using difference of squares factoring. And we'll get x minus 3, x plus 3 equals to 0. Alright? Now that we've done that, so now that we've done this, what we want to do is we want to set each one of these factors equals to 0 and solve for x. Alright? So we'll take x minus 3 equals to 0. We're also going to take x plus 3 equals to 0. And we're just going to solve for x. So plus 3, plus 3. Uh, x equals to 3 here, and then minus 3, uh, minus 3, x equals to negative 3 here. So the, 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 the numbers <laughs> that we can't use uh, is going to be uh, 3 and negative 3. So the way we would word that is the domain for this function is going to be all real numbers okay except the numbers that we can't use which is going to be we're going to say except 3 and negative 3 and that is our domain for this function